What's up you guys? Sit down and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know I've been a little incognito. It's because I've been like busy, busy doing various different things. My husband was making a new movie. Um, so I'll talk to you guys about that um, in the future. But lots of stuff going on. Um, exciting stuff, but still busy stuff. But I wanted to come to talk to you guys today about international opportunities for PAs. And so I got a question asked about, are there any international opportunities for PAs? And yes, there are. There are quite a few. Um, specifically, obviously, if you want to go to like Europe and stuff, there is a big PA um, kind of push there. And uh, there are PAs in Australia, PAs all across Africa, uh, the Netherlands. Um, and so like the nuances behind like, how do you become a PA in, in terms of like, if you're already a PA here, how do you like become a PA that's eligible to work there. You kind of have to look into that on your own. But for the most part, since the PA profession was really started in America, there's kind of like just like a seamless crossover to these places. Um, I know this because when I went on my vacation like a couple years back, um, and I was in Dubai, I'm like, man, this is nice. It'd be nice to like live and work here. You know, this seems like cool. Are there any opportunities for PAs? And I looked it up and there were, uh, there were jobs for PAs. Um, they weren't quite making as much as like, you know, I was making here in the States. Um, and I wasn't really sure like with respect to like cost of living and stuff, how that would translate. But those are all things that you can look at and try to see. I know also with respect to scope of practice, you have to look into that because there are some countries where you're not able to do um, like, like prescriptive stuff. Like you can't prescribe like, you know, like imaging and things like that. Um, because you're a PA, but you know, we're able to do all of that and more here in the States. So um, there are opportunities, you know, Canada, Europe, um, all, all over the world for PAs. It's just a matter of looking into what exactly you want to do as a PA. Um, what do you want your scope of practice to be? Uh, how much autonomy do you want? Um, and then kind of where you want to live, right? Because, you know, you, you want to look at all of those places in terms of like cost of living and stuff. But that is my simple, quick and dirty answer for you. I wanted to really uh, put a video out and answer that question for you guys because, you know, it's something that I've looked into and I think that if you are young and, you know, you have really no attachments like that, definitely, definitely, definitely look into traveling and becoming either a travel PA or going overseas, going um, internationally and working as a PA and getting that experience for a little bit. All right, if you guys have any other questions for me, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at on PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.